Hello, hello, and welcome to the Faust Normalized series, the fifth episode that's going to cover 2K. Before I start, I want to thank Krakatoa for helping me upgrade my microphone and audio experience. I saw in the comments people were mentioning that my sound wasn't very good, and I agreed I listened to it, it wasn't very good. So I got a new mic, I upgraded my settings, and hopefully everybody is happy with the new audio situation. I am very happy, so I hope it works out. With that said, let's get into the video. 2K, similar to 5K, is a very complex and versatile button. It's used in a lot of different situations, and you want to make sure you understand all of them and use it properly in all of them. That said, let's get into the information. 2K is a multi-hit, a free hitting, like free instances of hits, mid-low, which means the first hit is a mid, but the second two hits are lows, which have to be blocked crouching. This will be very important in many parts of pressure as people cannot backdash or fuzzy jump as easily as they would just mids. 2k is a 5 frame startup, that means the first hit would take 5 frames to start and the second hit will come out at A frame. So if the second hit is the one that's hitting, this one, it takes 8 frames to come out. The first one is 5 frames. It has 12 recovery and is minus 2 on block. Meaning if the opponent is blocking it, they could technically grab you if you're close enough. So you want to make sure you're not giving the opponent any blocks. You of course can cancel into 2D to catch them when they're trying to grab you. But make sure you're not giving them any free grabs. So as you can see, if you're spaced correctly, you will not be grabbed. But if the opponent is not FDing, they can punish you. Of course, 2D can be used to punish the opponent for doing that and get a nice counter hit. Between 2K and 2D, there is a one frame difference. So it's a natural frame trap. Just mashing 2D will always catch that one frame difference. So make sure you remember that. In addition, 2K has Gatlings to 6P. So like this. 6P will be a true block string, unlike 2D, which cannot be a true block string. You can also Gatling into 6H, which has some niche uses. Um, it is mostly not used, but it does have some uses. So you can keep that in mind. <coughs> Other than that, 2K can go into 5D, which can be used in order to catch your opponents if they're blocking low after the 2k, maybe waiting for that 2d. As you can see, it has enough gap that people can mash on you and catch you if you do it. So make sure you use it carefully. 2k can be cancelled at any one of the hits, so you actually don't have to wait for the last hit. You can cancel at any time, as you can see from the first hit, from the second hit. So this is another thing you might want to use sometimes to throw off people, opponents, who might be backdashing, jumping, mashing, whatever they're doing. Uh, this is a good way to throw them off and check their timings. Okay, so what are 2K's uses? When is it used? 2K is used, generally speaking, defensively as an anti-air. It's a very potent anti-air, as you can see, since it has low recovery and it hits right above you. Also, it keeps your, um, your hurtbox very low to the ground since you're crouching. Let's say the opponent is doing something like this, right? Um, did I record it? Yeah, okay. So normally um, here you wouldn't use 2K, but if you're a bit closer, suddenly 2K becomes very strong, okay? Which is important because it's the same area where 6B and maybe 5K on reaction will be a bit too slow, right? So this is where uh, 2k becomes very strong, and as you can see, you can improvise some very nice combos, maybe even break the wall sometimes. They're very strong. So 2k is a very potent end there. What else? It is also used in pressure. As I mentioned, 2k is our first real low, and what do I mean by first real low for pressure? 2p is more of a poke that you're throwing out to make sure the opponent is staying put. 2k actually leads to combos, unlike 2p. 
which makes it more potent as a pressure tool. It will also catch opponents trying to uh, fuzzy jump, as, as you can see if I record the bot doing something like this, like blocking for a moment, right? If he's trying to jump right after, he'll get hit, and we can confirm a nice combo. Get him to the wall, get some nice damage, and maybe even break if we get a good enough combo. So, 2k is good against these kind of fuzzy jumps, or situations where the opponent is maybe trying to backdash like this. Sorry, I didn't record. Right? So you can catch them doing this. Right? We'll also catch the backdash. It's very, very nice. It also leads to your first, like, hard knockdown, um, generally speaking. So before, like, 5k um, also does that. But 2p doesn't really lead to a hard knockdown. So... Generally speaking, 2k is very, very strong as a pressure tool to keep your opponents sitting down and not moving. So, 2k is used as a pressure tool, used as an end pair. It is also used as a preemptive neutral tool. So, you throw this out like this. And why would you do that? Well, as I said, it has 12 frames of recovery, which is relatively low for a move that covers very nice ground. And what it does is that when the opponents are rushing at you, so right they're like maybe dash blocking like this right and you're you're trying to catch them right you do 2p if you do 2p you'll be minus three and in their face so if the opponent is not pressing any buttons using a button like 2k could be very very nice if they are not blocking they will also get hit um but if they even even if they do block it you get a nice rps afterwards you can just 2d them away um like this and be at a safer situation than doing 2p on block so overall very nice preemptive tool it will also hedge against people air dashing at you as i said before uh you could just be uh throwing it out or let's record him doing um this so you could be throwing this out and as you can see 2k uh just like preemptively sometimes just because we're low to the ground it will completely whiff and both characters will be um like this, but sometimes you'll get like an end pair, sometimes like you'll get this kind of situation. So 2k is generally decent, just throwing it out preemptively is not bad at all. Um, of course, if you're targeting uh, specific types of movement, if the opponent is sitting over there and doing far slash far slash, uh, for now that uh, 2k is probably not gonna be useful. Uh, that's okay, you want them to be sitting there because you can outrange them uh, if they do it. So 2k is good at keeping people from dash blocking at you or hedging against people air dashing at you. So generally, useful button for preemptive neutral. So if we're talking about something like 2K, right? You can see there, there's all these kind of like tricks, like you can use 2D, you can use 6P, you can use your spacing. How do you use it in pressure? Like what, what do you do after it? Okay, so now we need to talk a bit about the RPS of 2K. So 2K has the following options. You could do 2D, right? 2D will uh, beat people mashing, it will beat people doing grabs, and if it might catch people doing reversals. So since 2K and 2D has a one frame difference, if we do set the opponent to block, um, and sorry, and on block he would do a DP, like this it is hard to input is um not not an easy uh, thing to do but it's possible to uh, use reversals in between 2k and 2d so how do you beat that well first of all simply do nothing doing nothing or walking back or back dashing all viable options after 2k uh if you know your opponent really likes to do either reversals especially against characters like leo who can charge their dp or you could punish um, types of match. So let's say our opponent is not doing DP, but after 2K, they really like doing 2K. For example, a lot of DLC characters will like doing that to you. As you can see, if you just like walk back, you can most of the time space yourself. So it whiffs. And if you want to be preemptive about it, you can even, sorry, wait, let me do it proper. Like this challenge with like a far slash or Okay, I'm fucking it up. Like this, you can challenge it to P uh, to check people pressing buttons. So that is an option. Of course, Smash will also beat that, but sometimes people will delay Mash, so they'll block for a bit longer to check for 2D, 
and then they will match their button, uh, which will catch you if you're trying to reset. Of course, another option they could use is backdash. Uh, we talked about it. Backdash does get caught if you uh, don't do it properly, but there is a timing where you can backdash. How do we beat that? Well, we beat it with close slash. Um, usually you have enough time to dash a bit if you're doing something like this. And then you can confirm into your nice mix loops. <coughs> Often get a wall break. So 2k into a dash will also be uh, beating up people who are just blocking, of course, since they can't really react to this. We'll also catch people who are jumping or delay jumping. So that's your second option. You can do, uh, oh, sorry, that's your third option. You could do um, 2k 2d. You can do 2k nothing or 2k walk back or 2k backdash. Uh, being like looking for any retaliation you can do 2k into close slash usually with a short dash that would be good that would catch most people so these are three strong options what if your opponent is sitting down and not really representing anything okay what if he's just doing um yeah just sit sit down right that's where um you have the tick throw so 2k into a slightly delayed kabangra very very strong it will beat people who are late teching so people who are doing um on block they would wait a moment and then do this so let's try and give the example oh let's do a bit faster no actually i think that that is fine so if i do hmm. maybe it's too late Wait. Okay, I think that, that is good. But yeah, now they're not punishing us, but they are grabbing us. So if I do a close slash there, I do get grabbed, right? So it doesn't let me reset, but it still, still catches me. So basically how you beat that is with the command grab. Uh, this will, of course, also beat people who are doing DPs. And will also beat people who are doing um, just sit down and block. And basically what this forces the opponent to do is spend meter, okay? Once they FD, the situation becomes a bit different. So, as you can see, once they FD, you are out of range and you get the option to 2D. 2D is still good. You can run in and use 5k or another 2k to try and reset the opponent. Maybe build a bit more meter as you're burning their meter. Or you could also just walk back, go into a far slash 2h. Uh, that is also perfectly fine. Basically, you'll play around it, but you are forcing a reaction from them. Of course, when they FD, you can maybe reset them a bit more easy, easier, easier. You can reset. Yeah, it's easier to reset. <laughs> um, anyway, that's about the things you should know to start pressuring with 2K. Uh, this RPS is very important to understand, so you don't get caught off guard with characters like Leo or characters like Biken who can parry in between 2K and 2D. So, these are the things I would pay attention to. Let's go over combos for 2k. Um, as No, actually, before we go over combos, um, there is something to be said about 2k as an ambare or interrupt option. Um, since 2k now is 5 frame startup, against many characters, using 2k as an interrupt is actually very useful. So, let's say a character is doing something like this, okay? In these kind of situations, um using 5p is usually better right but if a character is dashing at you with close slashes using 2k would be a bit better than 5p because the reward is more consistent and it will also might catch some other options right so a bit better than doing 5p again there's nothing wrong with doing 5p it's okay as you can see it's a bit uh worse reward it's a bit less consistent it's basically up to you, but it is very good to use. There's something to be said about moves that um, are naturally better interrupted by 2k, like uh, Ram and Kai's flip, for example, or Geo's um, step dash, which sends her very close to you. So, for example, um, sorry, Fudor arc is this. Yep. So, for example, this, uh, since 2k is lower to the ground than standing as Faust, Faust is very tall. Uh, it actually gives you a bit more time to react. If you are standing like this, 
and you are reacting with 2k, it becomes a bit easier than reacting with 5p. The same is true for RAM, but it's a bit more complicated because of our animation. Uh, that can sometimes, uh, not animation, sorry, because of our like hitbox that can sometimes cross you up if you're crouching. So you can check these things in mind. In terms of Geo, Geo will often step dash into you in order to reset you, especially since you can now low profile her specials by doing down forward. So being already crouching against Geo is good. And then when she's step dashing into you, using 2k to stop her, it's very, very nice. It will check her um, step dash and she will have to block your lows. So it's a bit better than 5p against her. Okay, so now we can go to combos. So we'll first cover all the grounded combos, uh, maybe combos with meter, what do you do, where do you do them? And then we'll go over some anti-air combos, which are the more important part probably for 2k, as they are very um, versatile, they need a lot of adaptation to the wall and to your meter. So we'll go over all of them and then we'll wrap it up. So 2k has two situations, one of them hitting all three attacks and one is hitting two. And in most combos, it doesn't matter, but you should know that they have different uh, gravity scaling. So I'll, I'll give the example with this metered combo. So as I said, there's like a general meter combo where you do an upper C into a 6H Scarecrow, right? So with three hits, you can see I get a very high bounce for Kai, right? I can get all these hits. Oh, I had a small lag there for some reason. So I can get all these hits, a very optimal combo, right? Seems very, very nice. And let's say I hit only two hits. I actually bounces way lower. Uh, it does not give you the same combo. I don't know why this is the case. It might be, have something to do with the 2k hits being lows. Um, I don't know if that's true. But it does give way, way worse damage uh, because of it. So. The reason this is important is because despite routes being similar between 3 hit 2k and 2 hits 2k, um, you might you might want to sometimes go for safer combos with the 2 hit 2k uh, because it's a bit harder to get like these full like mix 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 routes like this. Uh, they're a bit less consistent, basically. Okay, they're doable but a bit less consistent. You can see that Kai was a bit lower to the ground. So make sure you pay attention to whether you get two hit or three hit. If you're just starting out with the game, don't worry about it too much. This will come with experience. So now to confirms. The first and easiest confirm you get from 2K is 2K 2D. It is actually extremely easy to confirm from two hit 2K or three hit 2K. Uh, both are easy. So generally you'll do something like this, then you can cancel into an item. In which case, uh, you can run like item offense. You can, of course, go for an OTG uh, if you're close enough. Like this, you'll get an OTG close slash. Or if you want to push the opponent away, you can 2H OTG. That's also fine into an item. Generally speaking, I recommend this because it's very, very strong, very safe to do. Uh, something you might want to note is that in case you do get a hammer, which I just got, uh, give me hammer, thank you. Using a 2k um, with hammer can link into things like 6h. Uh, if you do recognize like a hit happening, you can kind of confirm this. It is not extremely good. Um, as you can see, you get that mix, mix, mix. Or you can get, um, what's it called? Um, Frost if the opponent is not teching. Which is not that bad. Uh, in case you want to give it attention. Of course, you can combo this into other things. Um, wait, sorry. I usually go for 5k. This is the one that was like most consistent. Yeah, like this. It's a bit less damage, um, but it's relatively safe to throw out. <coughs> okay. So the first confirm we said 2k, 2d. Now, the level up for your grounded confirms, the first one you want to get is confirming 2k into 6p. And you want to start with confirming the free hit 2k, because you have more time to do so. As you can see, all the hits stop from the free hit, go into 6p, and then a mix loop. Now, mix loop could be close slash mix, mix, mix. Uh, if you want to keep the wall or if you're afraid of dropping the combo, which is fine. 
Um, if you are close enough, going for that 2S is probably good. Uh, practicing your mix navigation so you can make sure to get that close slash 2S loop is very cool. It's very important. It will give you wall breaks and a lot of meter. So make sure you do that. So that's the first thing you want to practice. Practicing this 2K free hit confirm and 2K6P. Once you feel comfortable with that, you can start confirming this 2K. Uh, into it. Of course, as I said, the gravity is a bit worse, so sometimes you'll just do close slash mix mix mix. That is fine. You can also go for a uh, close slash 2s thrust if you feel like you're not going to make the mix mix mix. In matchups where you're supposed to be zoning uh, a bit more or tossing more items, this is definitely viable and strong, so keep that one in mind. So these are two strong options you want to go for. Now let's talk a bit about meter and what do you do with meter. So in 2k combos, whether it's 2k free hits or 2k two hits, okay, one of the most common meter uses is going for a close slash 2s super. So you can break the wall, right? That's super good. Uh, it breaks the wall now. It works. So it's great. Um, of course, sometimes you don't confirm the super in time or you don't have meter for super in time. That is also okay. So what other uses do you have for meter? You can also do from this mix 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 a close slash brc okay so a close slash dash cancel brc and the combo you do after it is close slash close slash 6h thrust 6h okay as you can see this is 159 damage um i'm not sure if i did it from a two hit one or a three hit one so let me make sure I think that was a free hit one. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Most times you'll get like um, two close slashes into a thrust, into a 6H thrust. It might be a spacing dependent thing. But yeah. Okay, so this is the free hit one. You can also do the JD route. Uh, which I do often. In other spacing, this one will be a bit more consistent. This one gave also one more damage. Usually the damage is about the same between the two of them. It's mostly a matter of convenience. Um, you can also do an item toss from this one. Uh, if you want to do item toss combos, as you can see, you're not losing too much damage if you get the right one. So if you want to do some style stuff, you can definitely use that. But that's a second use for meter in 2k combos uh, that close slash brc or the jd brc both are good both are useful make sure you learn how to use them and then uh, use them in your gameplay to up that damage and the wall breaks of course in uh, let me show in a bit like um more common positioning maybe um if you're a bit closer to the middle using that brc is a bit more important because it helps you be like more consistent with the wall breaks as you can see like their super wouldn't really reach so it's it's really really nice i really recommend it as for red rc confirms as i said before you can do the upper c route if you're punishing something maybe uh using combos like this dealing a lot a lot of damage as you can see 220 if i do um the optimal combo which is Close slash J H H and the close slash six H Scarecrow S or super if you have meter, two hundred thirty two, super big. If you are getting this uh, two hit one and you're confirming it, you do basically the same combos as you do with um, two P or five P, uh, where you do five K J S J H like this, and you can do it a J K into J D to break the wall. This does lose you a lot of damage, but I mean it's okay. If you're confirming it from free, from two hits, uh, you can technically just do something like this. Which is okay, as you can see, it's not that much worse. It could kill uh, in some situations, so it's good to keep in mind. If you're doing it from this one, we'll most likely do something like this. Um, oh, oops. Wait. I'm being confused. I'm trying to be optimal, but I'm being confused. So yeah, close slash SJH like this. 
the close last 6H Frost into another 6H. As you can steal, as you can see, still breaks the 200 damage. So very, very good, very strong. Definitely use it. So these are some confirms you do here. Let's talk about confirms if you're back to the wall. Um, of course, as always, Backdraft RC is your go-to if you can use it um, with combos like this. I will repeat them in almost every video. Learning this route is super good. It will optimize your damage. It works, of course, with 6 speed as well from two hits. It's the same route exactly. As you can see, 211 damage. Very, very nice. If you do get that mix, mix, mix already, it's okay to just cancel it like this. And go for a combo like this. You are losing some damage, just like 40 damage lost. Yeah, it sucks, but um, sometimes it's just better to make sure you're confirming and not dying. Yeah, this thing can happen sometimes when you do the air dash. Uh, the way to av avoid it, I think, is to simply wait a bit before you do it. As you can see, it makes it a bit more consistent. If the Kai is too high in the air, or like the opponent is too high in the air, these cross-ups can happen. So that's how you kind of avoid them. You delay a bit before you do the close slash JSJH. So these are combos with your back to the wall. And now I think it's a good time to talk about anti-airs. So anti-airs um, also kind of depend on whether or not the opponent is in mid-screen or, or close to the wall. Generally, when you're right here, doing combos like this will be a bit easier, right? Like picking up the opponent. You can do things like JSJH uh, to kind of juggle, right? To maybe 5k 6h. This is like an easy route you can do. Uh, you can do, sorry, you can do this kind of uh, refloat. Into close slash 5h. The main problem that happens is that if you jump forward, you can get hit there. Yeah, but these are like the refloat uh, ones where you like jump again and again. Right? Um, once you feel more comfortable uh, confirming, you can go for combos like this. Uh, it will technically combo. Um, now, only at very good heights, you can actually get this to combo into 2k. Um, it's not easy to do it. So, confirming this is very, very difficult. But it's possible, as you can see. Um, yeah, okay. Um, this, of course, also depends on the wall health. Sometimes this is more optimal. Uh, going for, in my opinion, going for a combo like 5k, like this. Um is like a very consistent combo. Everything I'll say consistent won't work right now because I'm recording. Um, yeah, something like this. Like all these juggles are very viable. As you can see, they all range in the 170 to 180 damage. Um, so you can just choose whichever one you find most consistent. I personally uh, use a lot of this one. Uh, it's very, very nice, very consistent. As you can see, it gives like nice damage. So you can pull this one or do any juggle that you feel comfortable with. When you're in mid-screen, things are a bit different because you have to adjust to your wall. So when you're using this, usually you have two buttons uh, that you'll mainly confirm into. The first one being 5k, which is like super easy because you just smash it. Uh, usually 5k is a confirm you do when you're entering from very like below the opponent. The reason is the rest of 2k kind of whips and it gives you time to just mash out 5k. Uh, the way you kind of confirm usually from this would be doing 5k into JH. So you do 5k JH and then you do an air dash. If you're like uh, close enough to breaking the wall you can do a thrust there. You can otherwise do JSJH. From the 5k that's also fine you can do 5k 6h and then mix 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 that's also okay all of these like are relatively consistent with breaking the wall if you're getting close enough technically you could do better combos uh which are also great like all of them do about the same damage so you should get comfortable first with this confirm and the rest of the combo is less important 
So you can just do whatever you feel is working for you. The other button you like to confirm from 2K is 6B. The reason you like to confirm with 6B is, first of all, in cases where you enter a bit lower to the ground, where the second hit of 2K might hit, you can use 6B to just cancel the move and continue into a safe combo into mix, 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 or to just toss an item, depending on how comfortable you are. As you can see, these still lead to these wall breaks. Yes, they do less damage, but they're sometimes better to do because of the spacing. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Um, but you can use both. I use both depending on the situation. Uh, as you can see, sometimes 5k is gonna give you like not enough height. Okay, that was enough height somehow. <laughs> that seems like it's not gonna work. But yeah, uh, you'll basically have to adjust and do whatever you think is most suitable. So these are the buttons you want to confirm from 2k. You gotta do these 2k, 5k, 6h, you can throw items from. Uh, if you have meter, of course, you can transition into the wall and keep your combo up, right? These kind of things, or some other route uh, for nice damage. You can, of course, do the JH we talk about or the 6B. All good, all useful. Um, with your back to the wall, doing backdrift RC is not as effective since the opponent will usually be above you. So how do you get these kind of like combos? How do you break the wall? So, one option is doing, um, wait, sorry. He's doing this to side switch with the opponent. So you're getting this kind of like six speed to push the opponent upwards, then you're bringing them back, okay? If you have meter, you can expend it to break the wall. Uh, you don't have to, but you are stealing the wall in essence. That's like one use uh, against the wall. Uh, of course, other combos you can use are 5k 6h, which can combo into... Um... I need to show it now. It, they can combo into Scarecrow, which I really want to show. Uh, it basically demands you to mash the 5k like you don't have time to kind of like delay there uh, So this can be inconsistent. You can technically go for a charge crow but against some characters It's not uh, viable to charge the crow. So yeah, keep that in mind So on a good hit you can get it if you get a counter hit on 2k it will work So this is something to keep in mind if you get like 2k 5k and you notice the counter hit in the beginning of the combo you can confirm into this uh the reason this is good is mostly because once you get meter you can break the wall from side to side as you can see like this um oh i sorry i did the wrong combo right you get the two heads to work okay can i please do it for all the viewers yeah you get the two hits okay you can do something like this deals very nice damage turn in four uh, so you break 200 and you break the wall from side to side, uh, similar to other characters. Uh, you of course can also still do this to break the wall. Uh, if you have meter, you can of course do, wait, sorry, something like close slash into a BRC, into mix, 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 or like any other route you feel is good for you. Maybe something like, oops. oh wait, no, sorry. Something like 5k, like this. Uh, as you can see, it deals less damage, so it's up to you what you want to confirm with. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with is okay. Uh, if you do get these kind of like lower hits, you can technically side switch with the RC uh, for like a bit higher damage. But generally speaking, it's better to just go for the later RCs, whether it's be like this. Or the other one with, um, what's it called? The other one with the side switch, uh, with mix, mix, mix. Another thing you might want to keep in mind, except for the counter hit that we love, is doing a 5k JH, uh, a 2k 5k JH, when you're in mid-screen. And uh, the way you use it is you do another JH afterwards. So 
In these kind of situations where you're super far from the wall, you can still collect with 50 meter that wall break. The way it works is you do a JH into a fast JH into another JH. Now, you don't have to do the fast one if you don't want to. As you can see, even if you don't do the fast one, it works. Uh, this combo looks pretty swaggy, um, but it's not as difficult as, it's, as it seems. You basically do another um, another JH immediately after the first JH. So it's like 5k JH into another JH, and then you air dash. And then you can do like a close last 6h thrust kind of combo for like high damage or something easier if you're unsure of the spacing. Basically, uh, it's good to keep in mind sometimes if you already confirmed the 5k JH and you do want to collect that combo. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay. This is how it looks like. Other than that, um, there are a lot of combos you can learn with 2k, but in all honesty, you don't need to learn the combos as much as you need to learn the routes. Uh, so the routes were either 2k, 5k, 6h, 2k, 5k, jh, 2k, 6p, mix, 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 and 2k, 5k into different confirms. Now, in super rare situations, okay, if you're insanely cracked, you could do 2k, 6h, okay? Now, personally, this is really hard to confirm. It is really hard to get that. So if you do get it, you can clip it, send it to me on Discord or something, or on Twitter. I really enjoy seeing people land these sick combos in games, so feel free to do it. Uh, basically, if you do get this hit, you get the same kind of combos you'd get if you do 5k 6h. Uh, so this combo, right? So depending on the spacing, you'll either do something like this, get the 6h full break, or you'll Sorry. Or you'll get um, a better combo if you're closer with close slash JHH, -H, which I, of course, fuck up now. Yeah, of course I'll fuck it up. I I'm gonna do it, guys, okay? I'm most definitely doing it. I'm landing it, like, right now. Right now. This is the one. I can feel it. Then you do super and you land a ton of damage. So, this is technically possible, but as I said, the uses for 2k6h are extremely limited. This is incredibly hard to confirm, so keep that one in mind. With that said, we kind of covered the combos that you should know, the combos and confirms you want to get to know with 2k. Uh, there are more stuff to say, but these are the generals that I would stick to. So, with that said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope the audio is great for everyone, that you enjoy the video. Uh, if not, or if I forgot something, you can always comment or send it to me on Twitch or in Discord or whatever. Uh, feel free. Um, it's really important for me to improve these videos so we have a stronger Faust community. And yeah, I guess till I get you on the next one. Bye-bye. Um,